I should be live. I think I'm live, guys. I think I'm live. I'm starting a bit early today because I am so tired. So I kind of want to just paint and, uh, yeah. Don't know. So hello, everyone, to who is already here. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. I hope you guys can hear me fine. I hope you can hear the music okay. I hope it's not too loud. Don't know. Hi. Hi, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I'm gonna start off by saying that I am extremely tired today. I came back from a business trip on Wednesday quite late. I was out of my like comfort zone and out of my apartment for three days, for three weeks now. Every like three weeks, every three days. And it's exhausting. So tonight I'm just so exhausted, but I wanted to get this live stream done and uh, keep going on with it because I'm going away on vacation this weekend. So yeah. Hi, <laughs> how are you? I'm very tired. So you guys are gonna have to keep me awake. And uh, yeah, I think we're gonna keep this live stream quite short today, maybe a couple hours, not so long. I wanted to do more, but I'm really, really tired. So uh, yeah. So we've got this little husky. I already pre-drew him. Um, like always, I always do that. Just you know, pre-drew him. Um, it's gonna be a portrait and I'm gonna be doing a background. Not like intense background, it's probably just gonna be a pale kind of watercolor wash, like a flat wash, like a blue. And then I'm gonna be playing a lot with the embossing powder. So we're gonna be making some patterns and designs kind of like around the husky's face. Um, so we're gonna try something new. I think uh, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> How was the trip? Yeah, it wasn't. A it was a business trip, so it was it was um, stressful. Let's just put it that way. So, I'm happy to be home and uh, back to doing my art stuff. <laughs> Same tired too, says Andre. Yes, it's a Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday, guys. So, if you guys are tired like me, the weekend is coming. All right, I'm just gonna get my watercolors out. I'm using two different sets of watercolor. I'm using um, Schminka, which is what I always use, and I'm also using the, I think it's called White Nights, or like, it's like a Russian, it's a Russian watercolor set, um, and it's quite good. Oops, sorry, I'm shaking the camera. Eh. And I like to use it for the blue, the blue is really pretty in this one, this set. So let's get started. <laughs> this start is awesome. Guys, I never, I've never drawn a husky before, um, so this is a first for me. And I think that it's gonna be kind of cool. So I think we're gonna start off with a kind of flat wash background. I wish I had a bigger brush. This is like the only size brush that I have that's like flat and large. So um, bear with me for a second. Let's go ahead. Let's get started, guys. We're gonna start off with just the background and I just wanna do a really light, kind of of a light blue. So we're just gonna start off. Um, I don't typically wet the paper first. Um, in this case because I don't actually want to like there's a certain style I want to achieve if you wet the paper first Then the paint will um, basically have more movement um, You could play a lot with the paint, um, but in this case I want to control it. So we're just gonna Add the paint directly on to the paper first Or sorry <laughs> add the paint with the water together at the same time with the brush I kind of want to keep a rough border as well around the outer edges of the actual thingamajig here. I can't, sorry, my English is going to be horrendous tonight, guys. Bunny, is this going to be for sale? Yes, it is. It's going to be available on my Etsy shop afterwards. So we're going to basically, from now on, I'm basically just selling my stuff on Etsy. There's a link in the video description, so if you're interested in anything, all of my pieces are gonna go on Etsy because I gotta get rid of my stock. I've got so much stuff, guys. So much stuff. So it's kind of the first time I'm selling things like that. Thursdays is your Fridays? Yeah, me too. It's Friday for me. <laughs> I love huskies. There's a lot of um, people who love huskies in the live stream, eh? It's actually, like, honestly, it's my first opportunity like I've never had the chance or I never really took the chance to really draw a husky so I'm quite excited for this one it's gonna be a black and white one too thank you Liz <laughs> the art furry says I'm tired went to bed at 1 a.m. woke up at 6 30 to get ready to school now I'm back from school I feel like death I feel ya 
I'm kind of in the same boat. <laughs> but yeah, tomorrow morning I have to get up early. I think we're getting up around five in the morning because um, we're driving to the, what is it, the west, like we're driving all the way across Germany um, to the west side of the country near the Dutch border. So the border be uh, between Germany and Netherlands, so the border to, to the Netherlands. And um, we're staying there the entire weekend, so it's going to be quite, quite nice. I like going there. We'll be staying on a farm with some horses, and I'm going to be painting, of course. Hey, bunny looking awesome. Thank you, Jesse. <laughs> we're starting off simple. I think we're going to keep this one very simple. Very simple. I think um, something that I, I, <laughs> I have to try to do... <laughs> is get used to the idea of keeping things simple, not uh, over g going too crazy with my colors. So this is my goal for the rest of the year. What is your favorite color? Asks the crazy panda. Ooh, actually I really like purple, as you can tell. I'm always wearing purple. I love purple and I also really like blue. So those are my two favorite colors. And I think the color combination of pink, purple, and blue is very beautiful. I really like that. All right, so we've got the flat wash down. We're not going to add too much color. I think we're just going to keep it like that. Maybe. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I don't know. I like just a basic blue. I like it. I like it. It's quite nice. Thank you, Roseanne. <laughs> Hi, She-Wolf. Hello. I feel like I should change the thumbnail, like, I don't know, I had no husky thumbnail to add to this live stream, so it's a golden retriever, because that's the only dog that I really drew. Okay, so I need to, um, I guess we're going to start off with the black, guys. Let's start with the black, black. In this case, I think I'm going to pre-wet the paper. I've already added a bit of pigment. So it's gonna be a kind of a dark, darkish tone, but yeah, we're gonna wet the paper in the areas that have no paint alongside with the pigment. And of course, this is gonna get much darker. Hi, bunny, greetings from Poland. Hi, Flamingo Girl, greetings from Berlin. <laughs> Are you going to vlog or not? I was thinking about that. I haven't really progressed with my vlogging channel because I've been so busy with work and stuff. Um, I probably, I probably will because it's a pretty special location. Um, I'm gonna give it a try, but I think the, the, the purpose of this weekend is to really just like sit down and paint the landscape. I really want to pull off like a Picasso, or not a Picasso, um, what's my call it? Uh, oh, what's his name? He's a Dutch painter. He used to paint the, oh my gosh, how will I forget his name? Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think. Van Gogh, Van Gogh, Van Gogh! I want to pull off a Van Gogh this weekend. That's my, my ultimate goal. To paint the Landschaft. Jesse! Jesse says, I said last stream I'm starting another portrait. Wanted to let you know it's going well. That's super great! By the way, I'm doing the BB live art for this live stream. So um, if you guys want to send me your art, go on Instagram and tag hashtag BBLiveArt and I will be showing it every half hour. So um, I started the live stream early, so the next time I'll show it off is at 9 o'clock, so in like half an hour now. And um, I kind of got a new setup for it, so I hope that it's going to work pretty nice. I could show off your work on the big screen. It's going to look cool. It's going to look cool. And um, yeah, hashtag BBLiveArt if you guys want to show me your art. And I will show it live. Yeah, bigger live art. Yeah. Uh, bunnies, I think of you when I babysit a Yorkie teacup and a Chihuahua. Why? <laughs> Is it because of my hair? <laughs> Hi, Pin Pin. Ah, oh, long time no see. I remember you. Le P Pin Pin. I like your name. I've always liked your name. Pin Pin. It's a cool name. Alright. Alright. So. We're just gonna add touches of here. I'm trying to think. Um, let's 
pretty faded right now. Check that out. It's like super faded. Super faded. You did a lot of sketches of them. That's awesome. That's really cool. Share your, share your art on Instagram and uh, hashtag BB Live Art, and I will show them off if you want in this live stream. What languages do you speak? Also, me and my sister have been missing lots of your streams. LOL, says the crazy panda. Yeah, um, you can catch my streams every Thursday and um, Sundays also, but Sundays is going to start on a later date. So in a couple, like, not this week, but the week after. Um, and uh, the languages I speak are French, English, and German. So, yeah. Yes, I speak Francais. Francais, but I speak kind of strange. I speak a strange French, guys. I'm not kind of a, it's kind of a, it's a stupid French. I have a stupid French accent, really, really bad. The reason was because I stopped speaking French, like stopped really learning it at the age of 14. So my dialect is kind of like stuck in that period. Uh, <laughs> it is never further developed. Uh, but yeah, okay, so that is that. Uh, Okay, we're gonna use a different brush now. I think we're gonna be using a... So the brush I was using up until now is... I actually, I'm not really too sure about these brushes. It's this type of brush here. So it's like a flat kind of, um, yeah, square brush, size six. And now I'm gonna be moving on to a much smaller one. It's the same idea, same flatness. I really like these brushes for fine detail and also to cover a lot of ground. They work really well. So I'd recommend you guys get yourself a set of these. These bad boys. I'm gonna be using the little one. <laughs> Did you recently had a schnitzel? No. <laughs> I haven't had a schnitzel in a very long time. Haven't. No. Actually, every time you ask me that, I always tell myself, hmm, that would be good. I'd like to eat a schnitzel. Okay, so I'm just using a black. We're just gonna start adding more pigment to the actual Husky's fur now. I'm not focusing too much on uh, detail at first. We're just gonna be focusing on um, getting kind of a darker, uh, yeah, a darker wash, whatever, darker pigment. Um, so we're gonna start off with the base of the head here. Really, you can start off anywhere, wherever you feel comfortable. And um, add more water if you want the pigment to spread faster or in more places we're just gonna and at this point you don't really have to care about the fine details so just like just put the color where the color should go and the fine details you can worry about afterwards in terms of like if you're working with pencil crayon so that's where the magic happens that's what i always like to say we're just gonna be like you just getting this darker Oh, buddy, today I got into my new art school, says Tiger Hero. Congratulations, that's awesome. I wish you all the best. I honestly, sometimes I wish I went to art school. Just never, I don't know, just never happened for me. That's okay, guys. You guys can't go to art school or you never really, I think you don't really have to go to art school. Although it is pretty, um, pretty fun. I had such a bad day at school, says Shy Psycho. I need to draw something. Yeah, draw, draw your sorrows away. <laughs> Eve asks, is water painting hard? It's really not. I think it's a lot of fun. Of course, at the beginning, it's a bit hard to get into because you have to control like water and where the paint goes. Um, but actually, uh, the more painting you really do, the more fun it gets and the easier it gets. I think it's so much easier compared to like acrylic or oil um, because that's, I find like oil very, very difficult. I'm trying to master it, but it's not really, it's not really happening. It's not, that takes a lot more time I find. But watercolor you can pick up quite fast, I think. Nicola says, going to get my pages, polychromos and pencils. Awesome, do it. Maria says, I think those brushes are called angled brushes. Could very well be, because they are on an angle. Actually, I'm so, I have no idea what the brushes are called. I don't know like anything about brushes. I just buy them 
because I'm like, oh, okay, maybe they'd be useful. Um, but I don't really know the terminology. I probably have to learn it because I'd like to do a video about it, maybe. Something I like to do though with the watercolor, um, when I'm applying the first layer, so like here I'm already working on the second layer, um, but when I'm applying it, I like to kind of mimic the fur. So I start to, to mimic the fur patterns. So you can see here, there's kind of like, it's not like a clean edge, right? It's, it's pretty raggedy. Um, I'm gonna further enhance this area here with pencil crayon afterwards, uh, but it's just to kind of set the tone of like how I want the fur to look like. Um, yeah, so I typically do that starting off with the second layer, I would say. The first layer is really to just set the color down. <laughs> Why, Gabby's so good at art, says She-Wolf. <laughs> I'm jealous, don't be jealous. <laughs> it's just a lot of hard work. <laughs> like, I don't know, I'm jealous of those, uh, I'm also jealous of some artists and I look at the stuff they do and I'm like, wow, like, I wish I could do that. But everything takes time. I mean, you gotta practice. Get a practice to get there. Okay, so we've got that happening. We're gonna add some more color around the eyes. <laughs> art, the art furry. I like your comment. <laughs> Bunny, zero art knowledge, amazing artist. Ah, don't. Thank you. But it really just comes with the thousands of hours of sitting at my desk and doing nothing else but this. That girl Kim asks any tips for someone who is kind of terrible at drawing faces, aka me. Oh, 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 oh yeah, I've got some good tips. Um, because once upon a time, aka uh, last year, like I was hard. I'm still am not that good at drawing faces, but I, what I really, um, what really helped me to learn how to draw faces and how to get gradually better at it was to draw at least one face a day and didn't really matter how it looked like as long as I was practicing. Um, so I, I kind of owed it to myself. I would try to draw one, at least one character a day. So it was like, whatever, how big, how small, whatever. At least it was one character. If I was practicing eyes, noses, whatever, I tried to put it all together in like one face. And that really helped me to improve quite fast. I also used a lot of reference photos. So Google online, check out some reference photos, um, go on Pinterest, go on Google, go wherever, check out your Facebook friends, try to draw one of your friends. And um, really, really just study the way the face is, like the shapes and the planes of the face and everything. And that really, that was like, like honestly guys, use reference photos. That's how you will learn. Um, and as I always say, finish your drawings, finish them, never give up. What animals do you specialize in? Oh, guys, I got so many questions. Oh, okay, wait. let me try to read them. Um, okay, wait, let's scroll back up. Okay, so Mona, or no, not Mona, sorry. Algos asks, have you ever tried oil pastels? I have, and I'm really horrible at them. That's why I don't really like using them as much because, uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I have to learn how to use them, but I, I don't really like pastel medium per se. Um, I do use them sometimes, but I like to stick to my watercolors, my polychromos. Bear Bear asks, what animals do you specialize in? Ooh, I um, obviously specialize in rabbits. Those were actually the very first animal that I tried to draw on a professional level. So like rabbits are, rabbits are like my go-to because I love rabbits. I can draw, um, if I'm learning how to draw dogs, I would say, and cats as well. I've drawn more cats than dogs, uh, but yeah, I don't know. I can draw guinea pigs, I can draw rabbits, I can draw cats. Um, learning how to draw dogs, I cannot draw horses. I know I have a lot of requests for that, which I have to learn how. Are you going to finish this one in this live stream, asked Maria? Yes, I will. That is the plan. 
Hello, Bunny says duck. Hello. What about gouache? I love gouache. I'm only slur uh, slowly learning how to use it now. I bought my first gouache set or gouache paint, I should say, a couple um, weeks ago, and it's a white one. And I've been using it in the fur of the animal, and it's done such amazing. Like it looks so amazing. I've been using it in flowers. I've been using it in fur. I've been using it on the face, and it really kind of brings more life to the painting. So, guys, I definitely recommend gouache. I'm using actually this this kind. This is um, the Schminka, Schminka Hordum, the Hordum um, collection. And this is the Titanium White. Um, I actually can't remember how much they sell them for. Maybe 8 euros maybe for a tube. And this is, um, it has lasted me, I mean, I only got it a few weeks ago, but fantastic. Highly recommend to try gouache. Okay. <gasps> Amanda asks, Bunny, what do you call a bear without an ear? I don't know. Oh my gosh. Don't say a bee. That's hilarious. A bee without an ear. Oh my god, that's so smart. Yo, you're blowing my mind right now. <laughs> Surly Hamster, hi. <laughs> Thank you. Fire Dash asks, how do you layer with Windsor and Newton markers? Please help because I'm not very good at them. Ooh, how do you layer? Um, <laughs> okay, so I talk about this technique that I always use and it's pretty much a technique that everyone uses when they layer or try to blend with markers. And it's basically, let me get a marker here. Um, it's like a flick of the wrist motion, okay? So you got your marker. And you've got like the brush tip for example and you want to put you don't want to put too much pressure okay so you just want to like flick your wrist so as you like as the the, the the tip comes off the paper you want to lighten your touch and this is going to allow you to create gradients and also blend different colors or different tones together um so use the flick of the wrist motion don't color so hard you don't want to color so hard otherwise you'll get a very strong pigment I hope that makes sense. I don't, I don't know. But uh, Windsor and Newton markers will work that way as well, so. I hate acrylic paint with a passion, so do I. <laughs> My mom, she is, uh, she's also an artist and she paints with acrylic paint. And I could never understand it. I was like, I tried a couple times and I was like, wow, this is the hardest. I hate it so much. I really hate acrylic paint. And sometimes I go back to it, I'm like, okay, maybe this time I'll try. Uh, but yeah, no, <laughs> definitely not. Okay, so the little husky is um, drying up. I think, like here it's still quite wet, um, but I want to add more darkness. I want to add more pigment. So I'm just going to go ahead and start, um, start doing that. So especially on the top of his head here. And here I can already kind of specialize. So here, this is the layer that I really want to be careful in. Um, so I'm painting the third layer right now and you can see that I've established a pretty good like kind of there's two layers There's a lighter gray in some areas. There's a darker gray in other areas And now what I want to do is I want to keep this sort of medium gray tone in some areas to kind of mimic a highlight in the in the wolf's or the husky's fur um, So there's a, a little bit of a highlight on top of his head And we're just gonna kind of be careful. We're gonna dilute the, the color with water as we kind of push the pigment upwards and also from the tip of his ear so i'm going to add a bit more pigment actually and like a dit and we want to kind of build a gradient so don't be afraid to use water don't be afraid to clean off your brush don't be afraid to add more paint just kind of experiment worst case if you add too much pigment you can always go back with like a um luminance pencil like a white one and just kind of create your own highlight afterwards so it's no big deal if you mess up just kind of like that <laughs> i mean when i try to use acrylic paint what is this sorcery yes <laughs> How do you draw white fur? I draw white fur, um, there's a couple different ways actually. And recently I found this new technique. Um, it's not a new technique per se, it's just like I figured 
out how to do it. Um, so the first way I draw white fur is usually with, um, like if I'm using my polychromos, I will use the warm grays only. Um, so this gives the mimic, like the, it gives the impression of a shadow on white fur. Another way is if here, I'm gonna, actually I'm gonna show it to you. Um, thank you Flowers and Sun for subscribing. I just saw that. So I'm actually gonna show it to you. So we're using a lot of black. And this technique works really good with a dark fur, where basically you will put as much kind of like as dark as you want, and then you're going to go over top of it with either a white pencil, a gel pen, a white gouache paint, and you can just do quick little like fur patterns. And um, this will make it look like white fur is covering on top of the darkness. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, but typically you never want to keep your paper white because you want to have, you want to add dimension. So use a warm gray color for white fur. Okay, so we're going to do the... La, la, la. <laughs> Bunny, are you ever going to try Prisma colors? Yeah, I would love to try them. I have to, um, first of all, save up some money to buy them. They're so expensive here in Germany. And then I have to order them online. I think eventually we're going to be doing like a full on... Thank you, D Dia, Dia, for subscribing. I think eventually we're going to be doing a very large... Uh, or I'm going to do a comparison video between Faber-Castell. I think it's going to be like the ultimate video for me because I'm so curious if Prismacolor like how well they work. I've heard good things. I've heard good things, but uh, I'm pretty loyal to my favorite Castell. Okay, so we're gonna start using a finer brush because I'm getting to the nitty gritty details here. Um, some of the finer brushes I have is this one here. This is a really old one. It's from the Da Vinci collection. It's size number five, and it's not as fine as I want it to be. So, I will use this one as well and if I really need fine detail I have a very tiny one but I'm gonna use this one for now so let's keep adding some dark pigments we're gonna work on the back of the husky <coughs> greetings from Quebec greetings that's actually where I was born oh my gosh that's so cool Quebecois I am also a Quebecois, Quebecois, Quebecois. I haven't visited, I haven't been to my um, home city, like my where I was born, in ten, over 10 years. I haven't been to Quebec in over 10 years. It's been a long time. He wanted to make the bunny dance. Okay. <laughs> Ain't no harm in that. The bunny dancing is pretty cool. I really like it. <laughs> You're drawing me right now. <laughs> it's gonna be fan art, isn't it? Send me your fan, fan art after and I will add it into the video, like one of my upcoming videos. I'm going to add it as um, if you want with your permission. I really want to start off like a fan art segment of my videos that I upload onto YouTube. Just like very quick, like 15 seconds or so at the end of the videos. Ah, I lost my... <laughs> you see how old it is? It broke. Oh no. Wait a second. Oh gosh. Thank you, Camille. Oliver. My rabbit's going crazy. Hey, Ollie! Can you guys hear him? He's throwing a tantrum. <laughs> Alright. I think for the first time drawing a husky, it's actually not that bad. Okay, we're gonna add some bits of gray into the ear. So I actually have another gray color. Um, you can achieve a gray color with watercolors with a super diluted black, uh, but I like to have, um, there's also grays that you can buy, like lighter grays. 
and this also helps you achieve kind of a yeah much lighter gray for the fur which is what I use also for white fur just kind of a light gray a touch of light gray you want to add it a bit around the eyes here also above the eyebrow like a debt <coughs> You're also drawing fan art. Oh my gosh. Guys, you guys can send me your fan art via um, Instagram if you want. And or my email address, which is down below in the video description. Your bunny is trying to be a ninja. Yeah. <laughs> he wants to play with his sister. He, her, his sister is in her cage right now. And he's standing in front of her door, like, trying to like communicate with her it's really sweet but unfortunately i don't want to let them both out because she's only four months old and uh she, they're not really bonded yet uh so uh yeah it's a gradual person yeah it's a gradual yeah you gotta go on more bunny dates Oh my gosh, it's a husky! Hey, Vilio! <laughs> Welcome! Okay, I think I have to let it dry a little bit, guys. To let it dry a bit. Are you actually crying? Who's crying? Okay, I have to check to see um, for the thumbnail, because I don't know what's going on. Sometimes my live streams, they don't update the thumbnail, so I have to do it myself, but <laughs> I have to take a photo of it. Uh, of the painting. So let me check what the thumbnail scenario is and then I'm gonna update it. We gonna update it, update it. I have to let the husky dry anyways. Yeah, it's still a golden retriever, eh? Okay. Uh, I wanna progress a little bit more. What do I do? I guess I'm gonna... Which part of Quebec are you from? I'm from Quebec City. So I was born in the area around Quebec City. Um, Cap Rouge? Do you know Cap Rouge? I think it's the, that's the area I was born in. Your bunny is a You have a bunny bear bear? And his name is Custard Cream? No way. No way. Yo, Custard Cream is the best. Okay, so uh, hmm. I think I could add a bit of gray around his, like, on top of his, like, um, on his muzzle. So let's add a bit of gray there. Like, right here. We're just gonna dab. Dab. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna dab, guys. We're gonna put that here as well. Let's put some grays. We're gonna put some grays. Remember, guys, when you're painting with watercolor, it does not have to be perfect. You can just be as expressive as you want. No need for perfection. That's actually the fun part of watercolor. I think it really helps you achieve a sense of freedom, I have to say, because I'm the type of person that needs to get every detail right. Like, always, 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 like, ah, oh, detail, detail. Uh, but with watercolor, I feel like I could really just, like, loosen up a lot. And um, it helps to be... It helps me be more expressive, I have to say. <laughs> Pink pig sketchbooks? What is that? I've never heard what that is. I don't know what that is. Last live stream, dot on the nose. Andre! Shh. People are not supposed to know my secrets. What happens in the live stream stays in the live stream. No way, we're not bringing that up. So I'm adding more grays here on the side of the face to kind of give the illusion of a, um, like a shadow. So this is basically what I mean by white fur. You want to just add a very light gray touch to kind of give the illusion of shadow. Look at that. I'm gonna do it here as well. What's your girl bunny name? Her name is Mia. So originally, like, the breeder called her Mia because the breeders always give them uh, names. And it took us forever. We couldn't come up with a name for her. And for whatever reason, Mia just fit. And it got stuck. And I wanted to name her all kinds of other names. Uh, 
but we couldn't agree on one so we're like oh let's just keep it as mia and it yeah it fits her she's very sweet You have a bunny too? His name is Sweetheart? Oh. I love bunnies! <laughs> Bunny, what is the difference between Frau and Fraulein? Um, <laughs> Frau is wife, Fraulein... I actually don't know, I like, obviously it's like a, a term for wife, isn't it? Actually, don't. Fraulein. Isn't that a bad way of calling your wife? It's like not very respectful, I think. Um. Battle Scars! Don't bring them up! No! Oh my gosh. For those of you guys who remember Battle Scar, that was. that was. yeah. intense. Thank you, Bear Bear. I can't keep up with your comments, guys. Um, what is the background for this painting, asked Maria. Uh, the background is actually going to be, it's going to stay a light blue, and I'm going to be, like, once the husky's actually done, I'm going to be puffing up his chest a little bit here with white, and once the husky's done, I'm going to be doing a, um, I'm going to be playing around with the embossing powder. So what it's going to do, it's basically, I sprinkle some powder, like I stamp some design, sprinkle some powder, I heat it up with a heat gun, and then it crystallizes into like a metallic, like a shiny metal texture. And I'm gonna be doing kind of like a like a like a floral wreath, wreath, floral wreath around the husky, like on the lower half here. Um, just something a little bit decorative, and it just really adds some nice, like a really nice touch. I haven't decided what color yet. Um, I have like silver, gold, black, white. I have a couple different colors. I wish I had a blue one though. I think that would be really cool. Okay, let's add some more color to the tongue. I don't really have the proper tongue color. I need to add a bit of purple to it, I think. Let's add a bit of purple. All right. All right, guys, we got two minutes to tell BB Live Art. I want to update the thumbnail. So before we progress, let's update the thumbnail. Show us your boyfriend. My boyfriend is, uh, he's uh, in the bedroom playing his computer games, his computer spieler. Okay, wait. Let's update the thumbnail. I want to update the thumbnail. Like, I don't know. I want to do a professional thumbnail. So I guess I'm going to pop up Photoshop. Ugh. This looks a bit strange, huh? Okay, let's just um, take a screenshot. BB Live Art, BB Live Art. Oh no, bunnies that died. I also have a bunny that passed away in September. So it's been a year. Actually, it's been a year. It's been a year. Okay, I gotta update the thumbnail and we're gonna do BB Live Art, guys. So let's update the thumbnail. I want to update the thumbnail, okay. Oh, it's always so complicated to update thumbnails. Because I want to do a nice thumbnail, but whatever. Okay, guys. I hope you guys have posted your BB Live Art materials. <laughs> you guys are so aggressive <laughs> with my husband. <laughs> okay, so guys, let's switch. We're gonna do scene two. You guys are gonna see some weird stuff happening on the screen, as you guys can see here. Maybe I should like pop up. Whoa! <laughs> I didn't 
<laughs> I forgot to hook up the camera on the BB Live Art. Okay, wait. Oh my gosh, this is so complicated. <gasps> okay, you guys, ready? It's BB Live Art time. I should have some special music for this. BB Live Art! BB Live Art! Okay, so these are the older posts. Now let's. I think we got some new guys here. Um. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I'm, this is the first time I have this set up, so it's, I'm a bit confused right now. Okay, guys, I think, um, I think we've got some new... I'm just going to refresh one more time. Y'all's ready for this? I think this one is... I don't think it's new. Okay, so we've got the first one here. This is from San Probes. San Probs. San Probs. <laughs> He says, or she says, he is angry because he hadn't had schnitzel for days. Whoa. I can totally relate to that. Yo, this looks cool. I like the color choice for the hair. Looks really nice. Well done. And digital too, like props to that. Very cool, very cool. We've got another one here, which is from X drawing underscore kitten X. Jesse from your live. This is Jesse. She always does amazing uh, portraits. Um, as you can see here, I think she's starting this new portrait. Um, K-pop artist? I, I don't know who this person is. <laughs> Obviously from a K-pop band. Uh, but yeah, looks really good so far. Well done. Can't wait to see the final. Alright, we got another one here from or Orion underscore seven, I think that's how you say it. They say they worked all day yesterday on this piece, so I hope you like it. I myself am pretty proud of how it turned out, and I think you should be proud too. Or, yeah, you just said you're proud. I'm also proud of you. <laughs> I'm confusing my English. I'm also proud of you because it looks really cool, especially the background here. I really like how you did it with the flowers, like the petals. Looks really nice. Well done. I like the colors. Very cool, very cool. Let's see what else we got. Is this one new too? I think it's like six days ago. I don't really know if they're in the live stream though. Let's refresh the page. Okay, we got this one here. Oh, I love this. It's so cute. Is it also a husky? I think it's a husky, right? I probably maybe not. But the dog, my beautiful dog Roxy, very sweet. I like how you captured the eye. Very nice. And I think we got one more, which is, um, it's really hard to see, but this is from that crazy panda girl. First one is my sis and will be watercolor pencil. Ah, it's a sledge. Okay. There we go. Will be watercolor pencils. Third is mine. Oh, very cute. Yeah. I can't wait to see your f finished artwork, guys. Shall I refresh it? Okay, we're just going to do one more time. I don't see the new art, guys. I think this one's new though. <laughs> yeah, Rick and Morty, Rick and Morty. <laughs> I don't recognize these characters here. I recognize him, obviously, but Rick and Morty, awesome. Very awesome. I definitely approve. This is awesome. Way better than I could probably do. Cool, cool. Alright, guys. <laughs> Let's head back to the uh, actual drawing. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, I think we are getting to a point where, well, it's still kind of wet though. Okay, I'm thinking I'm going to be adding a little bit of a flat wash, like even darker tone in the background. Maybe just a tiny bit, tiny bit of a tone. So I gotta water this down a lot. Guys, I will do the next BB Live Art in half an hour. I think we, we do it for like five minutes per segment. BB Live Art. Hi, artist gal. Hello. Alright, let's get started. Okay, so we are going to... This is what I... I don't know if I want to do a full-on... Okay, wait, let's try. Yeah, okay, let's just do it. We're just gonna darken up the background a little bit. I think we're not gonna do... Kind of wanna try a style here. 
I'm not gonna do full on. Okay, wait, let's see. Sorry, I'm just talking to myself. Ah. Like, the point is, I don't really want it to be perfect here. I, I want it to be kind of like, like mis mismatching color. Kind of see the brush strokes. I want to see a little bit of a artistic side here, not just like perfect flat wash. So we're going to try to do that. Oh no! Wessel, Wessel, Vessel, Van de Koenvig? I'm so sorry! Tell me which one it was. Because I thought I saw some old ones in there, and it was like, ah, oh, I think I already showed these ones a while ago. And they're old ones. Um, tell me which one, and I'll show it in the next one, I promise. I'm sorry! Oh my gosh! It's always so stressful for me, I'm just like, ah! I wanted to give everyone an equal chance. But I don't know what's old and what's new. Apart from the ones that say have been uploaded like one minute ago. Artist gal, if you have to do homework, you should do homework. Don't watch me. <laughs> Unless it's art homework. <laughs> Shy Psycho asked, or not us, they said. My grandma gave me her oil paints and I'm gonna try to paint a portrait with them. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. I'm afraid, don't be afraid, honestly, don't be afraid. Like here in the background, I've got two oils, two oil paintings, and it was so much fun to do, honestly. You're gonna feel so good about it, even though maybe the first times you're gonna be like, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, don't give up, just do it. It's a lot of fun. I think it's the challenge that's fun. Don't be afraid, just go for it, honestly. I'm telling you, straight from the heart. I've always been afraid of oil paints, and then a few, few months ago I was like, you know what, there's something to be afraid of, and you just do it. Can't believe you liked my drawing of Roxy, of course I liked it, it was adorable. It's so sweet, I love seeing like pet, like pet drawings. The Ravi Osan Vlogs asked, do you have any advice for someone good at artwork but doesn't have their own style? Oh, yes, I do because I'm going through the same thing right now. Um, so I, my recommendation for you is to, I think what really helps, you have role models, you have people you look up to in art, you look at their style, you look at the way of, the way that they do things and you try to mimic it sometimes and you can get lost in that kind of pattern, you know, where you want to be, you want to draw like them so you kind of mimic their style. Now, the, the downside to that is that you're not really evolving yourself as an artist. So what really helped me was to step away from it all. I have my influences, I have um, the people I look up to, but I have to really kind of think for myself and I just put away all of the, the references. I put away everything and I just sketch like without thinking about it and eventually as you keep sketching every day as you as you keep sketching as the months go by um you realize that you're actually turning into a sort of uh, your style is developing on its own and honestly finding your style takes time it really does and of course you know like for me i know which direction i want to go into eventually i know what i want to do but the style hasn't it's not there yet and um, it's been like a couple years where it hasn't been there yet and it's just like it's a progression it's a journey so if you feel like you're not finding your style right away and you get frustrated and you're like, like yeah this is not good I don't like that I want it now um, unfortunately it doesn't work that way I think I think you just need to be patient and to keep working at it and it's gonna come I promise you it's gonna come I don't know if that's like good advice or not but yeah I think that's what's really helping me kind of like open up myself to it because I was frustrated for a while because I was just like, Look, I don't know, I don't have a unique style, my paintings are not gonna sell, I'm not gonna be able to like develop as an artist because I'm not really special. Like there's so many things out there people are doing, it's amazing. Um, and what really helped me kind of grow was just like kind of throwing that out the window and being like, hey, like it's gonna take time to find it. Just keep doing what you love. <laughs> is that my boy Cat's Moon? Yes! 
It's actually, I've been meaning to email you back. I was gonna email you after the live stream um, because I literally, I was like, I was so done this week. I had no time, came back from a business trip and then I wanted to email you then. <sighs> but yes, this is your boy. I think Spencer, right? I think his name is Spencer. It is your boy. It's my first husky, really. You just finished your sketch of me, Pineapple Gamer. Oh, I can't wait to see it. I want to see it. Hit me up on Instagram if you have Instagram. If not, just email it to me. Emails in the video description. Ah! Joanna, I can't wait. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Captain Moon, it is your boy. <laughs> The Ravio Sand Vlog says, I'll definitely take your advice, and yes, it's good advice. I tend to do more graphite drawings, which is, that's awesome. I really can't, I mean, I, yeah, I can, but I like to throw in a lot of color in mine, so yeah, it's pretty cool. And eventually want to go down the realism route, but I have a distinct style. That is totally fine. What I think helps, I used to start off with realism, and I was so focused on trying to get the, the perfect things like getting it perfect, realistic, and I'm kind of branching away to an illustrative style, but what I'm doing is I'm combining my love of realism together with the eventuality, like the eventual route that I want to take, which is more illustrative. So I'm com combining both styles together to kind of find something in between that suits what I want to do. So yeah, just do what you want to do and eventually it's going to get there. Okay, so I think the husky here, he's a bit, he's getting dry. I want to start working on his eyeballs. Eyeball. Thank you for the follow, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> I think your BB Live Art is buried. I have to say, on Instagram, it doesn't really update sometimes where, like, I keep refreshing the page and your recent... Like, I think maybe if it's an old uh, post and then you add the tag, I don't think it necessarily shows up for some reason because it's an older post. Perhaps. Give me. Oh, Nutella Pro! Don't be sad. I'm here to teach you, at least try to teach you, because I, I, I'm learning myself too. Um, but word of advice, never be jealous of other people. You got to put the effort and time into building what you want to do, and uh, it's gonna all come together, I promise. Is it Cat's Moon? Is it really? Honestly, I was trying to get- I was looking at the photos you sent me and I was like, I don't know the position. I was like, what position should I do? Like, I don't know, like what- So I tried to mimic the fur as much as I could based on the photos you sent me. Uh, <laughs> so I hope I did a good job. Yeah. Check that out. You're completely hooked on realism at the moment. It's super fun, isn't it? I love realism too, I really do. But doing like people as realism, I don't know if I would like that. I, for some reason I like to do animals, um, like realistic animals. Yeah, the guys, the paper is not as dry yet. That's the only issue right now. I think Spencer has blue eyes, right? Try and get the reference photos up. I think he has blue eyes. Does he have blue eyes? I think he has blue eyes. Yes, he does. When you go blue eyes. Song name? Um, it's probably late. This is called Don't Look Back by Amarante. <laughs> I would want you to be my art teacher at school. Oh gosh. <laughs> I don't know how uh, good of a like actual teacher I would be. I think it would be kind of... Um, I wouldn't be the traditional teacher. I, would, I have to say that. Like That would not be... That would not be my case. Okay, 
Okay, guys, we're gonna start off with the pencil crayons now, or the polychromos, I should say. Use the proper terminology. The paper is still quite wet, which is very hard to do detail with, so... Uh, yeah, I don't, don't really know. No, Mars! Mars says, I just love sketching. Whenever I color, I demolish my drawings. <laughs> For the longest time, I thought the same thing, but actually you shouldn't be afraid of doing it. You should just go for it, and then you will get better. It just comes with time, guys. Oh, it's still wet. Everything's still, still wet. I got the hiccups. You got an Instagram just for you, buddy? Oh. <laughs> I hope you're old enough. Like, I don't want to be promoting, like, underage Instagram usage. <laughs> Alright. Alright, guys. How late is it th the stream? 30 seconds? Um, so I'm seeing your comments in real time, but the delay is actually, I think it is 30 seconds. So my answers will come like 30 seconds after or so. It's a little bit annoying, um, especially if you're trying to have like a real time conversation with people. So <laughs> like you guys ask me questions and I respond, but then you guys keep talking and then like, like everything is delayed for me. So I sound really slow, but actually it's the live stream. It's like the only annoying part with live streams. Thank you, Jetstream. <laughs> don't don't worry. <laughs> oh, you're 19 years old. Okay, good. <laughs> then pff, you're old enough. Don't worry about that. Okay, so for his tongue, I've got the perfect color. I really like this color and I rarely use it. This is the Venetian red. And this is actually a really nice color for do dog tongues or cat tongues. That sounds really weird thing. Uh, but we're gonna be using the Venetian red to just kind of scribble on his tongue. I'm gonna get that tongue darker. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. The paper's still wet, so the pigment is really off right now. We're just gonna start layering the color down. I want to work on his fur, but it's still too wet. You know what, guys? You know what? Um, now that his, it's kind of, it, it's so, yeah, somewhat dry. Um, what I'm gonna do? I really want to darken this this part here. It has to be much, much darker, like much black, more black. So what I like to use is this brush here, and I don't really know the name of it. It's like a fan kind of brush. It's super flat, and it has like sections which works so well for fur and hair actually and i really like to use this as a texture brush um so i've got one of these and i've also got a much bigger one like this one this one i use a lot for the background um so we're gonna be using this one here and we're just gonna dab it into black and we're gonna just darken up the blacky areas and here kind of gives the texture let's see if that shows up on the camera you guys can kind of see it, right? Like, it gives a very, um... There's, like, little strands and stuff. Kind of gives a texture. And what I do afterwards, so I basically use this. And, um, what I do is use the polychromos after to kind of enhance this area. Okay, we'll add a bit to the ears. And, of course, we want to add some up here. It gets a bit tricky, though, because it's, like, you want to control it. 
like an ad. Dude, you're having tacos for dinner? Oh, that's my weakness. Tacos. There's only one place I like in Berlin that does tacos. I think it's called Santa Maria. Santa Maria. Because they actually have real corn tacos. For some reason here in Germany, the tacos are all with wheat. Like wheat tacos. They're not even real corn tacos, which I really hate. Um, it has to be corn. It has to be corn tacos, yo. And this place, Santa Maria, I think it's called Santa Maria in Berlin, they have actual homemade corn tacos. Like, oh my god. And it's amazing. It tastes so good. It tastes so good. And then they also have like pulled pork with the tacos. Hey, bunny. What are you doing, mister? You want to make so much noise for my live stream? Will you do more sketchbook diary videos? Yes, I will. I've been working on one. I've kind of let it abandon, like I haven't had time to finish it, but I was working on a sketchbook video um, on my progression with faces. So I kind of want to, I haven't decided if I want to keep it as a one year summary because I did really start learning in January or if I want to do like a progression um, video showing off the first face I drew up until the very last one and see, yeah, kind of showing you guys the progression with that. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that ear. Guys, 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 guys. When I do, when I get something right, it makes me really happy. Oliver. What are you doing? You're pulling tantrums. Are these songs free of use on YouTube? Um, well, I have permission from the band to use them. So I, uh, they contacted me and said, hey, free, free to use um, our music in your videos. And um, I told them that I'd be using them for live streams and they said they were totally fine with it. So I don't know if they're free of use on YouTube, but you need permission from the actual band. Uh, otherwise, I don't really know what would happen, um, but yeah. Thank you, Marshmallow Bunny! Okay, I'm going to update the thumbnail because I haven't done it. So let's update the thumbnail. Ha! Made a face. Okay, so let's update the thumbnail, guys. Where is my thumbnail? <laughs> Kelly's Crafts, thank you! Just made an Instagram account just to follow you in CBB Live Art. Yeah! That's amazing. We're gonna do another BB Live Art in. Wow, it's already 9 30, guys. Almost 9 30. Okay, let me update my thumbnail. This little guy is drawing anyway, so we can't really progress. So I'm gonna update the thumbnail, and then we're gonna do BB Live Art. And um, yeah, we're gonna have a good time. Thank you, Isa Bjork. Bjork, yeah. Isa Bjork, thank you for your uh, compliment. It means a lot. Should I study geography and physics or draw? Hmm. <laughs> Uh, well, that's a toughie. You shouldn't ask me that question. I, I would obviously say uh, draw, but do your homework, guys. You got to do your homework. Of course. I've got so many pictures on my desktop. I, are you guys also one of those people who have so much stuff on your desktop that you're like, you're like, yo, gotta clean up. My desktop is always so dirty. Okay, so I, I saved the um, new live stream thumbnail. Villion, I don't know really about the mid-tone color. I literally only use two colors right now for skin tone. I really, I'm not like, I don't own the whole collection yet. 
Um, I hopefully will, I would love to get it for my birthday, which is October 3rd, so I don't know, we'll see. Maybe my husband gets me some. Uh, but I only use the sepia, like the, what tones do I use? What was it called? It's not sepia, it's called the burnt ochre, maybe? No, I don't know. I use the 10% and the 50%. It's like... Alright, so, um... <sighs> let's might as well guys guys let's start the bb live art early because we're waiting for this to dry so it's almost 9 30 might as well just kick it off let's get started i feel like i should lighten um wait let me just adjust the settings on my webcam for a second because i don't think it's there you go that might be better Okay, so the webcam should appear better now. Okay, guys, let's do BB Live Art! Woohoohoohoohoo! Best time of the live stream, eh? Hey! Oh! Mars Mission! Yours is October 2nd! Yeah! We're October babies! We're Libras! Okay, so BB Live Art. Thank you, Yuki sama! definitely not finished yet so let's switch the scene and we're gonna go back to the baby lab art <gasps> gosh it's so awkward my face came in the corner let's let's make that smaller okay so for those of you guys who don't know what I'm doing or new to this live stream I do a baby life art session every half an hour of my live stream so basically you guys post your uh, art or anything you're drawing while you're watching me and you post it on your Instagram and you use the tag uh, BB live art and I will take a moment to take a look um, so we're gonna go ahead and refresh the page so I hope yeah now there's 150 posts and I think there's a couple new ones so I think this one here is a new one yeah so the first one we got from Camille, Camille, if you're still on the live stream. Uh, so this is a painting, I think, and looks really beautiful. Look at the colors. That's amazing. So I finished this last week, took me a long time to do it. And I could definitely imagine why it would take you a long time to do it, because it's a lot of detail. Uh, but it looks very cool. And I love the colors. I love the sky. Very nice. That's awesome. Okay, so let's move on. I think these guys are all, um, we've shown these ones. Um, we've got here, I don't know if there's like, I think, th so this one's also new. <laughs> Crazy Panda Girl, sorry about the quality. No worries, so you can kind of see uh, there's some development happening with the picture. With the, I think it's a just a drawing, like a sketch or something. You got a couple drawings here. Very cute. I don't know who you're drawing, but kind of looks like me, I have to say. With like the big lips. Very cool. Can't wait to see the final product. We have another one here from Pineapples7451. This is digital art here. And um, I think they said they were drawing a self-portrait or was it, was it fan art? I don't, I don't remember. Uh, but yeah, the digital art. I hope you're going to, are you going to erase the color here on the sides? Very cute, We've got a little manga style. I used to also be a pretty avid manga Manga. <laughs> I'd like to draw manga as well. <laughs> I don't know if I like that. Did oops, sorry, wrong one. Did I like that? Yeah, I gave it a like. All right. We got here from Wes Arts. This is a work in progress, trying to create a comic version of my favorite scene in the movie Coraline. I love that movie. Uh, very cool comic version. And I see you're using Faber Castell. <laughs> very nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Very creative. Um, let's see if we got some more new ones, guys. I think this one might be new. This was seven days ago. I don't know. It was a portrait of me. Oh, thank you, Pineapple Gamer. I'm refreshing the page. We've got another one here from San Probs. I made a punk vampire. I'm so proud because I like his hair a lot. I like his hair as well. And I like his little fangs. <laughs> so cute. Actually, you know what? I really like how you did the nose. That's very cool. Looks very nice. BB Live Art. Yeah. 
Very cool. All right, guys, I think that's it for the live art aspect. Sorry, my <laughs> my comments are coming in like 30 seconds late, guys. Let's refresh one more time. I don't, ah, look at this one. This is the one I think I missed before, but I didn't see it until now. This is from the Ravi, the Ravi, oh, the Ravius art, Ravius art. And uh, yeah, that's amazing. Look at that. They say what a difference natural lighting makes, which is totally true. And um, got a few drawings to work on over the next few days. Super busy, but loving it. That's amazing. Keep it up. Honestly, very cool. It's always fun to be busy while you're doing art. You got all kinds of stuff to do. It's really nice. All right, guys. So let us head back on over to the Husky. Um, did you get, I'm not gonna be checking my emails, guys, because I have to like <laughs> pop them up and stuff. Uh, he sent me through Gmail. Wait, let's see. Uh, have to check my emails after. Uh, okay, let's head back to the thing, guys. Yeah, wish wither. I love that. Thank you. Thank you for your comment. They say, I love your art. Thank you. Your art has given me inspiration to keep on going and drawing. That's really amazing to hear. Thank you so much. I hope you do keep on drawing. It's the best best thing in life. Okay, let me get my reference photo back up. Noses are so hard to draw. Oh, ho, 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 I know. <laughs> Okay, guys. So let's let's keep going. We're gonna do some progression here. I'm gonna I'm gonna progress a little bit more. As um I discussed at the beginning of the live stream, I don't really want to live stream for so long today because I'm really really tired and I have to get up super early, like five in the morning, tomorrow morning, to go on a road trip. Such is life. Yeah, road trip, and um, I still have to clean up my apartment. I've got a lot of stuff to do. Being an adult, Whew. got so much stuff. I have no fries, says. <laughs> That's really sad, why don't you have fries? Fries are the best. Your art is beautiful, I'm a beginner artist, but you really inspire me. Thank you so much for your words. Um, that really means a lot. And um, uh, no matter if you're a beginner, like, I'm a beginner too, or I used to be a beginner. We're all beginners. We all start from somewhere. Even the biggest artists that you love and you're kind of jealous of, um, they have to start from somewhere, guys. So don't be ashamed if you're a beginner. There's nothing wrong with it. Just keep doing what you like to do. Okay, so let's make progression. I think we're going to color in his eyes. So his eyes are in, like, icy blue. Um, so I'm actually going to pop up my Copic markers for this because I find that coloring eyes, I really like coloring with markers. Um, it's just much easier for me. You can also do it with watercolor, but I think that the watercolor can get messy, especially for such fine, like super fine details. So I'm actually using the Cool Shadow, which is a beautiful color, very translucent. And um, it's very good for actually blending and layering, especially if you're doing like cool blues. And then I'm gonna be using the frost blue because you know, frost, frost blue for like the darker parts of his eyeball. Make it a dark eyeball. We're gonna make a dark eyeball. Then I'm gonna take my polychromos and we're gonna be drawing the pupil of his eye. Like that. Does that look creepy? I, f I think husky eyes are so creepy actually. Um, I ho I've always had an issue with blue, like, animals that have blue eyes. I there's something, like, demonic about it, somehow. Um, so, does that, does that look okay, guys? I, I don't know. To me, it looks kind of, uh, creepy. 
Good night, Jetstream. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> I'll be doing live streams on the weekend, so you guys will be able to attend those as well. Uh, but this weekend, I'm on vacation. There. I don't know. Does that look okay, guys? Does that look fun? It's a bit hard. The Crazy Panda says, Do you like Harry Potter? If so, what house are you in? And who is your favorite character in the books and or the movies? Of course I like Harry Potter. I grew up with Harry Potter. Um, it was like, I read all the books. I remember, guys. Honestly, I don't know if you guys are too young to probably never like as the books were coming out i was sort of in el like late elementary school early high school and i remember staying up to like four in the morning reading the latest book because i couldn't put it down and it was so good it was like oh my god like i think it was like book book four five six i don't know if there was another one after six seven eight maybe i don't really remember i remember staying up late but if I was in house, I would like to think I'd be in house Slytherin. Um, I'll tell you why, because I really like the evil characters. I've always liked the evil characters. Um, but probably I would be in Ravenclaw, I have to say. Ravenclaw. Stake the German Husky. Yo. Yo. The German Husky and his name is Stake? What? Yo, you know, I love steaks, and I like Germans, so that's pretty much the best, like, most awesome name ever. <laughs> German. Steak, the German Husky. <laughs> Thank you, Steak, the German Husky. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Okay, so we got a comment that I totally missed, and I'm gonna read it out from Ethan Plays. I love your art. I really admire it. I always will try to progress like you. Keep going, and don't let anyone say your art's bad. And I subscribed two days ago, and I love you. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that means a lot. <laughs> Thank you for your support. Ah, oh, you guys always get me like to keep going and keep pursuing things. Honestly, inspiration-wise, it's always gonna be you guys. Oliver, what's on your mouth? My rabbit has like a bunch of fur hanging from his mouth. What are you doing? Okay, so I think this is nearly dry. Yeah. So where is my um, color? My color, my color. So we're gonna be getting out the grays out because I wanna. Oh, yeah, okay. So now this is dry, we can progress a little bit with the the white of his fur first before the black because the black is still drying. Um. Oh, thank you, baby. Bear. You're currently on the Goblet of Fire and loving it. Oh, I remember that book. I love the movies. Yeah, the movies were amazing. Oh, I remember when they were coming out in the theaters and it was like Harry Potter. It was like the the opening weekend of one of the Harry Potter films. It was so crazy, like the fan base, like everything. People were dressing up to go. You couldn't get tickets. Stake the German Husky. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing. Make it that bunny dance. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, you couldn't get tickets. Everything was sold out. Uh, those were the times. Same for the Lord of the Ring movies. Those were amazing. Sometimes I really like to have a marathon. Sorry guys, I'm having an issue with my pencil sharpener. Ah, ah, my nose is itchy. <laughs> I always have issues with this pencil sharpener. Okay. We solved the issue. Ugh. I have to probably buy a new one. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank you, Jabbermouth. 
Yeah, honestly, teach their own. Uh, funny enough, like, I tried to watch live streams too, but I have an issue watching them. Like, the only live streams that keep me interested are gaming live streams, and even then, I rarely watch it. Only if it's a scary game, I will watch it. Uh, but, like, I don't know. I'm totally with you on that. I prefer watching videos. Funny enough, and I do live streams. I don't know. Oh! I figured, like, guys, I'm drawing anyways, and I figured I was like, okay, why not just live stream it? You guys can see my process in real life. And, um, we can have a conversation. Oh my gosh, my pencil crown keeps breaking. What is going on? Oh, thank you, Azriel. Oh my gosh, it's been forever since we talked. We haven't talked in forever. I haven't seen you in forever. My email is in the video description, Bear Bear. It's also below my webcam. You can see it here. Info at brushesandbunnies.com Aw, oh, thank you, Crazy Panda. Okay, guys, I finally sharpened my uh, stupid pencil crown, so now we could uh, progress with the, the fur. We could progress with the fur. Let's make some nice fur, guys. Now, the goal for this fur is not to be so realistic. Again, we're doing a little bit more on the illustrative side, especially with the watercolor aspect of things. So, I'm just going to be adding a couple, like, fur textures here and there. Nothing too dramatic, nothing too time-consuming. The magic's really gonna happen once I add the white fur into the, the fur. I think that's gonna pop out. We're gonna pop. It's gonna definitely pop. Nicola, do you remember me? Of course I remember you. You were like one of the classic people on my live streams. Supernatural. I actually have never really watched the show, um, funny enough. I think that's something I'd totally be into, but I just never gave it a chance. I drew the news way too black, guys. We're gonna pop out my white luminance pencil. So this one here, the luminance, is fantastic to draw like highlights in the fur or just like yeah, <laughs> basically just highlight an area. And um, on dog noses, this also works pretty good. You guys can probably not see it because of the light area, but it's definitely lighting up here. I can't see what I'm drawing because of my soft boxes. There's too much light reflecting. Oh, yeah, I actually really like Laovan's as well. Laovan's live streams are really interesting. I quite like them. He's a pretty good, he's a fantastic artist as well. And he's German. Maybe I'll see him, maybe I'll meet him at the, um, like, guys, there's a YouTube event in on September 22nd, so next... Is it next week already? No way. The week after, in two weeks. There's a YouTube event in Berlin in two weeks, and all the Berlin or German YouTubers are invited. Um, so maybe I will get to meet him, guys? Maybe I'll meet Laovan? That would be pretty cool. We could discuss, like, YouTube things. Oh, can you imagine? But I, I've been invited to it, so I guess, I don't know, it's gonna be, we're gonna learn about video production, we're gonna be learning all, about all kinds of cool things. Oh, gotta fix the mouth here. Oh. Hey, I, I Thor? I Thor? I Thor? Yo, your name is like a, it's like a, it's like a, probably because it has like Thor in the name. Reminds me of a Nordic god. But hello, 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 hello. Are you a fan of Slim Jims? Isn't that like the, like the beef stick? Like jerky, beef jerky? 
Are you asking me if I'm a fan of beef jerky? <laughs> I actually am not. Um, I, I used to be. I mean, it's also in Canada, so it's like beef jerky. Beef jerky. But I'm really... Nowadays, I'm not really... Not really a fan of beef jerky. Pancake queen! Thank you! Oh, these teeth. The teeth have kind of a yellow tinge to them. I wonder if I'm gonna put a yellow tinge to them. Should I put yellow tinge? I don't know what I'm doing, guys. Do you have Netflix? If so, have you watched Riverdale or Pull? I've watched Riverdale, which I really love. I love the Archie comics, although it's com kind of different compared to the Archie comics, but the same characters. I love Archie comics, and um, I used to read like literally all of them. I love them so much. I read them in French, I read them in English, um, and yeah, that was it. The Riverdale was cool. I like that one. Bye bye, Cinnamon Bunny. Bye, Azriel. Don't worry. I will be live streaming on a regular schedule now, so you can uh, come in and chat whenever you want to. Okay, so we're gonna start merging in the black fur into the white fur, and the way I do this is basically take my polychromos and just slightly kind of just draw some furish pattern. As you can see here, I'm kind of just drawing like lines or so, and we're just gonna try to blend it in. And then I'm gonna further blend it in by adding some white gouache into the mix. It's gonna be a lot of fun. This is still not dry, so I can't really do much here. We're gonna add a touch of Venetian red into the ear. Um, because the ear is a little bit pink on the inside. I don't know if you can see that. How do you stop the paper from going wiggly when you add watercolor? <laughs> um, <laughs> I actually haven't really found out how yet. <laughs> um, but. I think taping it down kind of helps like if you tape down the edges of the paper onto your desk um, You have to get the proper tape though because when you take the tape off you can rip the paper very easily uh, So you have to get the proper tape like painters tape um, but I Actually don't know. I think it's an in, in, Inevitable there might be some sprays or something I've seen that you could like prime your paper for for water and stuff, but I actually haven't checked into it so I can't really answer your question. Oh no, your art teacher makes you sad. <laughs> I haven't checked my emails, Bear Bear, so I'll only check it afterwards. I don't really typically check my emails during a live stream because of, uh, yeah, it's too much effort. Like, just do the Instagram stuff and then a lot is eat. Okay, so for the eyeballs, we're going to add some a gel pen. So guys, the trick of the trade is if you want to make your characters look alive, you want to add some white gel pen or some white something white into the eyes. Um, I think the eyes are really good. They're very reflective, especially with the light source, depending on like how dark or light um, the light source is. In the term, like in this case, what I'm probably gonna have to do is I'm probably gonna have to darken the eye a little bit with the blue. So we really want to make the eyes kind of pop. The way I make the eyes pop, to, I, I do two things. I use my black fine liner to do the outline of the eye, and I also use the gel pen for the reflective part of inside the eyeball. So I use the jelly roll. This is Sakura. Um, it's, a, it's from Japan. Um, it's super awesome gel pen. I think they go for about three bucks, like three euros. They're always sold out in Berlin. I can never find them. So I found these in the Netherlands and I was like, whoa, gonna buy the entire stock. Uh, but I actually just ended up buying three. <laughs> They're expensive. So what I do is I just, you're probably not gonna see it that much though. I can add some, well now it's looking creepy. That's even creepier. I think I messed up the reflection here. So we're gonna fix that. We're just gonna remove it. Yeah, there we go. Now we're gonna...
Hoip. Yo, Ginger Spec, what up? I'm good, how are you? Honestly, guys, um, our teachers, I have to say, I think uh, teachers in general, they teach you traditional stuff and they teach you um, like basics and just the techniques and stuff. Um, but in fact, like doing your own style, um, what works for you, for you may not work for your teacher and they, they're pretty opinionate, opinionated about it. And um, honestly, at the end of the day, it's what matters to you. And school matters, of course, but as you come out of school and you get into the market and you get into like making a name for yourself, especially for art, um, you have to literally branch out and just find your own style. And art teachers will sometimes um, kind of, uh, not disown, but they will, um, what's the word I'm looking for? They will look down on you if you have a, a different style that has never been seen before. So don't get so upset about that. I think what really helped me in design school was to think of my professor as like a business client. So what did he want me to do? What did they want me to do? I just went ahead and did it um, to get the good grades. And then whatever I wanted to do, I did in my free time. And I learned how to kind of develop my own stuff. Um, so that's kind of the trick. Don't get so personal about their opinions and don't take it at heart Because you could stop yourself, you know So just listen to what they say learn from what they teach you, but don't take it so You have to kind of grow a thick skin That's kind of the that's the that's the, the, the kind of the obstacle you have to face in school God this Husky's looking kind of creepy I'm gonna put a shine on the nose. The nose is definitely not done, but we can go ahead and just shine that sucker up. Because there is kind of a glare on it. Alright. Uh, bestie boy, yesterday I was at Bozna and spent 80 euros just for art supplies. Now I'm broke, oh my gosh. That is like me every week. I, have, I haven't been in probably over a month and it's really good because if I were to go to Bozna, I would literally spend up to 100 bucks every time I go there. Because I want to try everything. I'm just like, ooh, curious. Gave up on art because of my art teacher? Nah, that's not good. Should never, should never do that. Should just do it for yourself. Don't listen to what... Yeah, honestly, though, high school art teachers are not really... Oh, crap. Ah. High school art teachers are not really... Um, they're there to teach you, but it's not that serious, I'd have to say. Just wait till you get to college or high university. Okay, guys, we're going to be starting off with the um, gouache. So I'm using a pretty... I'm not really diluting the gouache. You can dilute the gouache. It's like a form of watercolor paint, guys. However, it dries quite fast, and you can't really reuse it um, from what I've dealt with already. Um, so this is really good for like fine details as you can see I'm building the white fur on top of the black fur now and This will um, give the illusion of like a fluffy dog So you can dilute this gouache with water um, Or you can just paint on it like acrylic art or acrylic paint And this makes all the difference and I'm so in love with it don't know how I went through life without using it. Looks like he's got like, he's like furry. Little fur doggy. Bunny, what gel, white gel pen do you recommend? Because I can't find a good one to use hair. Yo, Jesse, use this one. The Sakura. You can't see the name because it's in white, but it's Sakura jelly roll the sakura jelly roll it's from japan you can order it on amazon i think i saw you can order a set of them for like uh how much were they they were like did i see for eight eight dollars maybe eight american dollars or you could order one for like i don't really know how much they were it really depends where you live Um, I have to put this somewhere here. 
before it dries out. Ooh, yeah, you should try Inktober. I keep telling myself I'm gonna do Inktober every single year it comes around. It's right around the corner now and I think I will seriously do it. Last year I was just not in a position to do it because I was starting off YouTube and I was kind of like learning the YouTube stuff. Uh, but this year I think I'm ready for it. I've been saying that for like almost three years. This is gonna be my third year of doing like actual art. So I think I'm ready guys, I think I'm ready. You guys should take up the challenge as well, it's quite fun. Yeah, Mars Mission, you should be excited. Yo, Norway, you're from Japan. Yo, mad respect. You come from the land of best art supplies. <laughs> I'm so, that's that, that's, you know, if I were to go to Japan, I would probably spend all of my money, all of my money on art things. And cute, like, like really cute, stupid erasers. You know what I'm talking about? Like those really, those really cute erasers. Ah! <clears throat> All right, so this is coming together. <laughs> Texas is my city. Are you pulling a, um, what's his name? Nick Crompton? Also, I hope you weren't affected by the hurricane. If so, I'm so sorry. That is horrendous. It looked horrible. I feel really bad to my American homies out there who are in the path of the hurricanes. I cannot imagine how that would feel. See, I don't have a thin enough brush to make the fine detail. That's the only crappy part here. When did you start drawing? I've been drawing my entire life, um, but I really, really start. Oh, I screwed up the eye. I really started when I was like three years ago. I can remember it was late 2014, and um, I had really kicked it off in 2015. So I think, honestly, I would say 2015, maybe two years. So it's been a it's been a long time coming, guys. Ooh, by the way, what's really great about gouache is that you could actually mix it together with watercolor paints to create a different color. Um, so if you have a white gouache paint, you can mix it with a black to make like a dark, like a, a, a grayish kind of gouache. And it's a lot more pigmented and it acts as, as if it's paint. So you can actually pull off some really cool effects with it. Definitely recommend gouache. La gouache. In the eye of the hurricane. Yeah, hi Ranjan. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. Your hedgehog Elfie. I've <laughs> I have to Yes, 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 yes. I have to uh go back to my emails and schedule the live streams. Um so here's the thing. Um uh, I Officially like I I think I'm doing live streams every Thursday like that's kind of my schedule and then every Sunday So two live streams a week um, Sundays are starting in like two weeks or so uh, So I want to schedule Actual I'm gonna go back to all my old emails and schedule the pets that you guys sent me and uh, Yeah, definitely. I'm I really want to do the hedgehog So it's coming. Sorry. You just need a little bit more patience <laughs> I've been really busy I figured I'd start off with the dogs because the dog, the dog is. I really need to practice dogs. So we go. 
gonna make the tongue. The tongue needs to be like a purplish color though. It's not really. This is like a gr It's like an orange now. Oh, it's ten o'clock, guys. Ah! Guys, baby live art. Let's let this dry a bit. Wait. Uh, before I do that, can I just uh, wait? I have to use up my gouache before it dries. So we're gonna do BB Live Art in a few seconds. Just give me a second, guys. We're gonna, just gonna finish up the white, the white part of the doggy, doggy's fur, the doggy. I gotta fix his eyes. I really screwed up the eye for a second. It's now it's too too light, so we're just gonna There we go. I think that's a bit better. Okay. Almost done. We're gonna lighten or we're gonna darken that nose up. Added a little bit too much white. <laughs> Which country do I live in? Uh, asked Pennycorn. I live in Germany, but I come from Canada. I am a Canadian. Bye, Jesse. Thank you for joining. See you next Thursday. See you next Thursday. Oh. This is strong. Okay, guys, it is time for BB Live Art. Oh, guys, I'm an old lady. Like my bones and everything are like creaking. Okay, so BB Live Art. So let's get the BB Live Art. Let me just update my thumbnail and we're gonna get with BB Live. Let's do BB Live Art. Uh, my hair is looking crazy. Ooh. So I'm changing the thumbnail and as you guys do your thumbnail and the beat. Yeah, BB Live Arts give me in a couple seconds. I am just changing the thumbnail of the little um of the live stream. So let's change the thumbnail. He's slowly changing. All right, there should be a new thumbnail now, and I think we're good to start off BB Live Art. Gosh, ah, my hair! I hate this. What is going on? Let me just. Throw that behind my ear. Ah. Whatever, whatever, guys, whatever. It's like late for me and I'm tired. Okay, so let's do BB Live Art. BB Live Art. You guys ready? You guys ready? Are you guys excited? Let's just get the Instagram up. We gonna do switch the scene, switch the scene. Okay, guys. You guys ready? You guys ready? I'm gonna refresh the page. So we have 152 posts, and we're gonna refresh. And now there's 160. So there's 
uh, what was that? Eight? Eight have been added. So, um, I think this might be... I don't know if this is a new one or an old one. Okay, wait, let's scroll down to the most recent ones. Um, so we've got a pum pumpkin. So this is from Parasol Mushroom. They say, I've been working on this all day. It's still drying, but I wanted to add this to BB Live Art. It's made out of tissue rolls and craft paint and some craft rocks. Oh, is this like a, a, a do-it-yourself kind of project for like fall, like Halloween's coming up? So let's look at that. Oh, it's a video. Oh, it's a pumpkin. <laughs> are you, what are you going to stick inside? What does it hold? Yo, that's awesome. Well done. That's pretty cool. I've never seen that before. Oh, what's this? Some flying pepperoni. <gasps> I'm a huge funda fudanchi, so I made this. I love it. I, okay, whoa, yeah. Like, I remember way back in the day, I used to read these, uh, what's it called? Yao? Yao? I think we all do. I think it's, it's a nice, uh, it's a nice uh, manga. But if you made that, that looks really good for the uh, digital art. It's very sweet. Very cute. All right. We got from Venus Tang. I forgot to like. Wait. Oh, wait, guys. Wait. I forgot to like this one. And I forgot to like this one. So we're going to like give it a look. Um, so we've got um, Venus Tang. And she did or he did. I don't know. They did um, a kind of mega character. I can't really read what that says. Goodbye for now. We'll meet again someday. Apparently I can read it. Uh, this is really cute. I really like it. Well done. And you're even going for the hands. Like, oh, drawing hands, honestly. Good for you. Like, keep it up. Very cute. We've got another one here. Um, this is from It's That Girl Kim. This is Throwback Thursday. Drew this a while ago, she says. And they've got purple hair. And it looks really good. Very nice. I like how you drew, drew the hair and um, also the background, like the colors you chose are really nice. I love purple. They're cool. We've got an eyeball from Kelly's Craft and that's a pretty good eyeball. I have to say. Look at that. Well done. That's like a better eyeball I can do. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I like how you did the shadow, the, the shading. And the details on the like eyelashes that's pretty detailed girl girl you got those eyeballs going on thanks for subscribing i don't see all right and we've got this one this one looks cool too wow this is from my art leia hey brushes and bunnies hope you like it and i do like it that's so cute look at that i like that that's really nice i like the little head uh, like the scarf thing or like the headband the red hair. I love red hair. I love people with red hair. I think they're so beautiful. Oh, look at this one! This is from Andre K64. Aha! Uh -huh, looks so cool! Hey, I recognize this from someone. Is this like a Jazza drawing? I feel like this is a draw Jazza drawing. I feel- I've seen this somewhere before. I swear to god Jazza drew this. Well done though, you recreated it pretty well. Okay, let's refresh. Okay, we got a couple more. We got this, oh, Cheetos. Olivia Field, thank you for subscribing. I don't know if you were already subscribed. You just want to make the bunny dance. Oh, Cheetah Clubs. Oh, I tell you a story. Uh, when I was a child, I was obsessed with Cheetos and they will forever be in my heart as one of like, like, my favorites and cheetahs are so adorable and this is really cute well done chi wolf look how cute that is oh little baby we've got another one here i think it's another progression wait i forgot to like that one let's like that one <laughs> okay we got one last one here this is from that crazy panda girl and this is her sister's art which is a i think it's progression right you're not finished with it yet you should try to color it in. I want to see it colored in. I want to see the final product. Very cool, very cool. And I think that's it, guys. We're going to refresh one more time, and I think we are done. We're going to head back to my little, um, my husky. Cool. 
<sighs> We're back. Guys. Guys, I love seeing your art. It's really cool. I like to see the variety of art that you guys do. It's really impressive. Goes to show that we're all different. We all got different tastes, and different likes in life, different ways of drawing. We got digital, we've got crafts, we've got uh, traditional. It's very cool. <laughs> you guys are tricking me. I think I, I'm thinking I'm getting new subscribers, but really you guys are just making the bunny dance. Oh my god. Oh my god. Unacceptable. Oh, that's totally fine. You guys can make the bunny dance any day. Okay. Boys and girls, boys and girls, we're gonna add one more black later. Black later. Black layer. Using my feather brush, I guess. Is that what it's called? Maybe? I think I'm just making that up. It's like a feather brush. Look at that. Oh. Yo, it's Nico! Nico! By the way, Nico, I am doing your portrait on... Not this Sunday, the next Sunday. So I have it in mind to schedule it. I've just scheduled my upcoming live streams tonight before I leave on vacation. Um, but there's gonna be, if I'm not mistaken, it's Ari, Ari. So I'm gonna be doing, um, challenging myself with Ari on Sunday the, what day is that gonna be on? Yo. It's gonna be Sunday the 17th. Yeah. I can, I can finally live stream. I know that I'm not going on business trips, um, the following week, so I can definitely do it on Sunday. I'll schedule those tonight. Tonight. Bye, Airy Green. Thanks for joining. Have a good night, girl. A fan brush. Is that what it's called? Is a fan brush? Okay, guys. Um. Ooh. I think for the tongue, I'm going to get out my Copic markers also for the tongue. I have a really fantastic tongue color. That sounds weird, isn't it? I got a really nice tongue color. Bye, Malia! Gute Nacht! Schlaf schön! So I, for the tongue, I'm going to be using a lipstick. Lipstick natural. Look at that. Uh, the day after moving to Germany, what? So you're actually legit moving to Germany? That's awesome. Yeah, then, uh, then it's gonna be cheaper for me to send it to you. I mean, regardless, Germany or Poland, I think it was uh, pretty cheap uh, shipping cost anyways. But if you're moving to Germany, it's gonna come to you very uh, much quicker than Poland, I guess. Like the drawing itself. Oh, 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 look at that. His tongue is coming together. All right, all aboard the Chong train. I need a lighter version. I think I have a, um... You should make a Discord. I do have a Discord, actually, um, but I don't use it. Wait, guys, that's a little slow. I think we're gonna be using a, a little bit of a pale lilac. This might be too bur- Ooh. Is that purple? It's too purple. Yo, Joanna. Joanna. This is too pink. What am I doing? <laughs> oh, I'm just trying things. Let's go back to the purple. I don't like purplish. You too funny. Na, 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 na. Can you also draw me as a uh, bestie boy? So here's the thing. I actually want to practice with subscribers, like drawing their portraits for fun. Um, I really cannot draw dudes though, so I think guys, I think if you're a girl, I, th I feel so bad saying this, but if you're a girl, um, and you want me to draw your portrait, send it to me, uh, via email address, or if you have a selfie or whatever on Instagram, just tag me or whatever. Um, I actually really want to practice with subscribers, I think that'd be really cool to do. Um, but if you're a guy, <laughs> I think it's gonna be a bit harder. 
<laughs> for me. So maybe that's a good challenge. Yeah, John, I finished it. I send things to people. Um, no, 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 no. Uh, so <laughs> I'm sending it to Nico because he's a moderator and he deserves it, and I owe him one. So I'm sending it to him for free. Um, there are some occasions will where I will send it to the person. It really depends. Um, I used to do it at the beginning, but now I don't because it got really expensive. Uh, so I need to kind of get paid for the stuff that I do. Otherwise, what's the point of, uh, you know, that's part of being an artist, right? So you want to, I need to afford my materials and things. So I don't send things, to, uh, like I don't send portraits to people for free anymore. Um, but yeah, so Nico's a special case. Because this does take a long time to do, you know, guys? Like, it's a lot of work. And I, and I will give away portraits for giveaways, for example. So, I mean, that's always... I, I'm willing to do that. It's totally fine. But giveaways, I think we're going to stick to the free portraits just for fun. And anything I do on live streams, it's going to either be sold on my Etsy shop. I'm going to maybe make prints of it, depending on what it is. And um, also, live streams will be open to commissions. So like if someone commissions me to do something, I will probably just paint it on a live stream and then send it to them um, afterwards. <laughs> British. Y'all, we got so many British people. I love, I love British. Like, I, I always, every, I swear to God, Every one of my live streams, I always talk about my love for England. Every single live stream. I've never been there though, which is kind of the weird part. Oh, the husky's missing some detail. We're missing detail, guys. We're missing details. It doesn't cost money for me to draw you guys. Like, you guys can just send me your photos and I will draw them as, like, for fun. Um, but for me to send, like, if I do two live streams a week and then I'm drawing pets and also people, um, and then I have to send it to you guys, it's gonna cost a lot of money for me because it's, like, international shipping. Uh, so I'd like to do, I'm, like, for my giveaways, it's free international shipping. I'm willing to pay that. Um, and there's a current giveaway happening right now, so check out my YouTube channel for that. It's for the Bright Pad. Um, but if I were to send free portraits, like, I'm not rich, I can't do it. It's a lot of money. Uh, so, like, monthly money. So, giveaways, I can definitely do it. But if you want me to draw you, thank you, Green, for subscribing. If you want me to draw you, if you want me to draw your pet just for fun on a live stream, then just send me your stuff and I will totally do it. Uh, but not send it for free, unfortunately. Unless, of course, you want me to. And, uh, like, pay for it. Hello from Kuwait. Hello, Afifa. Welcome. Okay, we're gonna draw the whisker holes. Le whisker hole. <laughs> Hi from Malta. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> yeah, I didn't- you're from Malta, that's pretty cool. What's a bright pad? It's a tracing- it's like a tracing tablet. Or like a light box. Purple cactus! Please! Thank you for the subscribe, yo! Thank you for the subscribe! Whiskers, yo, whiskers. Oh Lord, have mercy on my soul. 
to get to the whisker part. I'm not there yet, guys. I'm not there yet. What? Na 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 na. Oh, guys, my foot's asleep again. My kitty is watching the live stream with you. Oh. Say hi to your kitty for me. Give them a big kiss and a hug. And a kiss and a hug. Tell them it's from Bunny. La Bunny gives them kisses and hugs. Okay, so he's coming together. We're slowly getting there, guys. I think we're almost done. Again, it's just illustrative. We're not gonna go full detail for this one because I don't have time tonight. And my f oh god, <gasps> my foot is asleep. Oh my god. <laughs> to be honest, it almost looks like the wolf too. Wink, wink. Ooh, naughty, naughty. Bringing up my uh, horrendous uh, uh, past live stream. Uh, ty Tyna, Tyna, Tyna Maria. Tyna Maria. Yeah, I know. That, I think that wolf, that was like. <laughs> that was a. <laughs> yeah, that was like my first wolf thing that I drew ever. Oh gosh, my foot. I can't. I really want to laugh out loud right now because my foot is asleep and it's tingling. I hate this. I hate. I hate when things fall asleep. I'm just gonna sing. This is the first time a non-Arabic person says my name correctly. Afifa, really? Afifa. Yeah, you have a cool name, actually. It's a pretty cool name. I'll have to say, it's pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay, guys, I think the eyeballs are... I'm not gonna touch the eyeballs. Even though I'm touching them now. Yeah! Okay. Ooh, I wanna get out my marker. So wait, let's get my black out. How am I filming this? I am filming this with two webcams. I've got one webcam here, bam! I've got one webcam here, bam! And uh, yeah, <laughs> that's basically it. There's nothing crazy about it. Just a couple webcams. It's actually the easiest way to film uh, speed painting videos and or live streams or just like recording yourself drawing and painting. I think webcams are the best. I also do like, I film with my Sony camera as well for uh, like longer videos when I'm live streaming. Or sorry, when I'm doing like a speed painting video. <sighs> okay, details are coming together guys. Details are coming together. I love your art. I got eyeball too. Bear bear. What are you talking about? You're saying you got eyeballs? Thank you, Pin Pin. Pin Pin, your comments are always amazing. <laughs> yeah, my ears are cheap. I don't know how I still have allergies. Allergy season is 24-7 for me. All right, boys and girls, I think the husky is nearly done. We've got some good detail happening here. Which are better, tetracopic? Woo! That's a question. Um, yeah, honestly, I started off 
with touch i've always had touch since like i was growing up touch was always like markers that i i owned and i knew how to use and blah 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 um and then i got into the world of copics now there's a there's a little bit of a difference but touch are pretty good in terms of the quality of them and they're a pretty good competitor i think against copic markers i think it's actually one of the closest competitors i would say um, in terms of the quality and what they can deliver um especially when comparing the brush markers uh so touch is really really good but i have i honestly i have to say copics like I, i've i've played with the difference for both of them like i've tried things out and i've learned how to use both of them and um there's really no comparing i think there's the copics are really top-notch guys But as always, what I always like to say, guys, if you're starting off, don't buy the most expensive things because you will either, you might not grow to like them. Uh, maybe you want to try something different. Um, there's always like consequences. Start off with the cheap stuff and then gradually build your way once you actually find out, hey, maybe I'm interested in learning this. Then you can invest in the more expensive things. But when you start off, just get something cheap. Yeah, no. What was the question for the giveaway? Um, <laughs> what was the question? What are your art goals? I think, what, what is your aim? Like, what do you want to become? What do you want to do? What do you see yourself doing with art? What is your goal, basically? I think that was my question. <laughs> I, I uh, yeah, a lot has happened since the, the video, but yeah, that was basically, I think that was the overall, the overall message. Okay. So let's take this again. I also like to take the like feather brush, like the thingy here, and basically make extra textures in the background so i think it's actually really helpful and pretty useful to create like really interesting textures um so i just like to just dab my color my brush in color just kind of go wild like not not really have a plan for it of course you want to start off with like softer colors not really something too harsh just kind of i don't know like right now, I honestly don't know what I'm doing. I'm just doing whatever I feel like it. Hi, Carolina. Welcome. Welcome to the live stream. So guys, I think I'm gonna be live streaming for, I have to wait till this dries though. I wanna finish the background because I wanna do something extra special. Once I'm done the background, I think we're gonna be done with this because I am tired and um, yeah, yeah, unfortunately, gotta get up early tomorrow. So I have to figure out what color I wanna use for the background. Um, so I'm doing something a little bit special. Powders here. I've got powders. Oh, so I've got these powders. Um, and they're embossing powders. So I've got a white, a silver, and kind of a goldish color. I've also got a black. Um, but basically what I do is I use a stamp, like a floral stamp, and then I stamp it onto the paper with a um there's like an embossing stamp thing that I use. And then I sprinkle the powder on it, and then I take the powder off, and then I take a heat gun, and I heat it up. And it basically creates like this crystallized metallic embossed kind of texture. And I want to do that a little bit, kind of like a pattern around the wolf here. Oh, the wolf, the husky. It's kind of around, but I have to wait for this to dry. I wanted to use white, but I'm not sure if it's going to show up. I'm not sure if the silver will work either. 
What color shall I use? I don't know. I'm actually thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Okay, so I guess silver. all these stamps we've got these stamps here I wish I could buy bigger stamps they're so expensive so we're gonna use stamps and I think I gotta figure out which one to use though I'm gonna use the floral stamps I think so we've got the little leaves we can put some leaves around it the leaves or we've got these ones bam 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 um, what to do, what to do, what to do. Alright, we've got these ones. Yeah, my Oliver, I know it's bedtime. You're waiting for your treat. <laughs> You're waiting for your treat. Yeah. Moa Mom, thank you for subscribing. I think we'll do this one. Okay, so we just have to wait for it to dry. I think we're gonna... I need a big circle, that's my issue. I don't have a big oval. What do I use for a big oval? I need like one of those tools that you can like make circles with, which I currently don't have. So I'm just gonna freestyle. Let's freestyle. I don't want it to go in his mouth. Uh, Okay, so... Do the leaves, it's a story fall! Yeah! We're gonna be doing these... Um, wait. Which ones did I... <laughs> which ones did I pick? I think these ones? Or these ones? I think we'll do these ones. So we're gonna put them like all the way around like that. I think up here as well. I wanna put them up there, but this has to dry here. It's not dry yet. We're gonna do like that. I don't know if it's gonna look good though. Yeah. Thank you, Gus. <laughs> Shanker, shanker. <gasps> Can't get my circle straight. Okay, so we're gonna start off here. Um, okay, so we just have to wait for the watercolors to dry. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the embossing powder. I think it's gonna be really fun. I don't know, I guess, I guess we'll stick to silver, right? So it's like a snowy kind of effect. So we're gonna stick to silver, unless there's white. But I don't think the white's gonna show up very well. So we're gonna stick to the silver. Yeah, give it a try, Gus. Should paint, just go for it. Go for it, dog, go for it. Okay, so let's, I guess, um, yeah. Try to erase a little bit of the pencil marks. <laughs> My hair is all crazy today. 
Yo, yo, yo. Guys, I'm hoping to end this live stream at like 11, if not like 11.15 or so. I've got to do stuff. Alright, so. Hey, while we're waiting, let's do a thumbnail shot. Let's do a thumbnail screen, a little screenshot. Okay, so let's update the thumbnail. Thumbnail number nine. Nine. How many moderators do I have? I have four. Four. Okay, I'm updating the bad thumbnail. Yeah, I think the silver will be the best. No, let's do that. Let's do the silver. We probably already start on this side. I think we're gonna give it a go. I'm gonna get my heat gun out, so it's gonna be pretty fun to do. I love doing this. So this is the heat gun that I use, and I'm gonna show you what I do with it. Uh, so here I've got the Higan. You have to be very careful with these. I think I got this on Amazon for like under 20 euros maybe. Don't really know. Um, basically the heat comes out from here and it's so, it's super hot as you can see. The nozzle may be hot so be very careful when you use this. Um, and basically you plug it in and you aim it at the powder that's on it and it's going to crystallize. Uh, so I'm going to first, I need a piece of paper so I could catch the powder. And we can already start on this end, so we're gonna give it a go. And um, yeah, let's do it. So let's get a piece of paper. <laughs> you guys are asking me if I had time to go through Jazz's Sexy Benjamin videos. I have not. Oh my gosh, I'm dropping my Copics everywhere. I have not had time. Um, maybe on this weekend, because I actually have vacation. So let's give it a go. So um, when you're working with embossing powders, you want to use a uh, clean piece of paper underneath. Um, and I'll show you why. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use this embossing stamp pad, which is clear, <laughs> as you can read, <laughs> clear. And um, you basically just stamp your stamp on there and then you stamp it on the paper. So we're going to start off very slow. Just let me get this out of the way here. Uh, so I'm still learning how to really do this because I actually have never done this. I never did this really before except for a few months ago, like just started using it. So I have to be very careful. Basically you just stamp and you stamp hard. So I like to do a couple at a time. But it's a bit hard to see where you actually stamp so things won't be so um, accurate as you want it to be because of the fact that I'm using tiny stamps stamps tiny stamps and i can't really create a lovely pattern because i can't see it so i did three and now what we're going to do is we're going to sprinkle some on i hope the paper is not that wet i don't think it is you guys seeing this you guys seeing this look at this just sprinkle it on do 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 yeah, like that and what you do next is you just So you see? You see? You see what I see? Look at that. So we've got those here. This one is not so good here. Um, and basically what you do next, I like to take it step at a step, or step at a step, wow. Step, how do you say it in English? Step at a time. Oh my gosh, I'm losing my English, guys. Um, so I'm gonna actually uh, heat, put a heat gun to this right away because I don't want to lose my Maybe I should just keep going. Let's do a little bit more. I'll do it all at once. Like half of it at least. I'm gonna stamp a little bit more. And stampity stamp stamp. Yo, Art Fairy, welcome back. I'm gonna stamp one more here. I'm gonna try to keep it in a circle. Kind of 
circle shape. Another stamp. Okay, we're gonna sprinkle some more on before it dries. I actually don't know what the drying time is for these things, um, but I think you want to just take it one step at a time. I just I think there's hair in it. There we go. Okay, so let's just keep it like that for now, and we're gonna take the heat gun to it. So I'm just gonna take the excess and put it, pour it back into the bottle because we don't want to waste this. And we'll pour it back into the bottle. Like that. Shake it. Okay, let's get my heat gun. Where is my heat gun? Oh, here. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, let me plug it in. I have my little plug thing at the bottom. Okay, there's gonna be a loud noise, guys, so sorry for that. And I'm gonna try to do it in the webcam, but I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it properly. Um, so be, guys, when you're using a heat gun, you gotta be so careful because it gets really hot. And um, so I often just hold it to the side like this. And um, I make sure that the area is clean, so you're gonna see some excess like residue here. Some, I mean, it's up to you if you wanna keep it there or not, but it's gonna crystallize, so you wanna be careful. Uh, so yeah, sorry for the noise. Just gonna wait till it heats up a bit. Yeah, babies. Ah, I'll, they're all blowing away. Okay, now we're gonna. No. Let's see if it goes any. Oh my god, it didn't really work out. <laughs> I don't think I used enough ink um, from the ink pad. But you can kind of see what's happening here, right? So te technically what I would do in this case is I would go back and restamp and fix it again. Um, but usually I have to stamp down hard. Like I didn't stamp down hard because I was, I don't know. I don't know what I was doing. I don't know what I was doing. I just want to fix this here, this is ugly. <sighs> okay, so... Okay, so let's do one more time. Stamp it real good this time. Real good. It's a bit. Oh, I wish the leaves would have stuck. La 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 la. Being an artist isn't my full-time job, it is not. So I do work, I, I did work full-time. I've only been recently been able to do part-time. Um, so like I, I have Fridays off, um, which is like 80% part-time. Uh, but no, it's not my full-time job yet. I'm still learning and I'm still growing. So I, I want it to eventually be, but it's definitely not yet. To make a name for myself first, guys. Okay, so. Hopefully this one sticks much better. I hope it sticks much better! Let's just finish it off.
Oh, it's not really working out the way it- I think I ruined it, guys. These live streams are all in the name of experimentation. <laughs> okay. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. I wonder if because these guys, they dried really fast, if I didn't sprinkle it on in time. Could be. So we've got. It's not really even. <laughs> Why aren't you in the YouTube art collect artist collective? I'm um going to participate in the next one, and in the one after, apparently I'm going to be an official guest. Uh, so I'm hoping to get my way into the YouTube artist collective. Um, I only actually found out about it a few like months ago. I didn't know it existed before. Uh, so I'm so happy. I contacted them and I was like, hey, I'm really interested. I would like to apply to become like one of the like part of the collective and um, I'm hoping like they're offering me a guest position in it in like the next like not this one, but the one after So yeah, so we'll see what happens. I really hope I can become part of it. I would love to uh, become part of the girls There's a lot of really nice artists. I want to get together and collaborate, you know? Yeah, no. Okay, so let's just empty this back into the bottle. Okay, let's try this one more time. I'm still learning how to do this. It's not really giving me the results I want right now. Sorry for the noise, guys. I'm uh, heating up my heat gun. Bye, Crazy Panda. Thanks for watching. Can you feed him? Can you have a treat? Huh? Huh? I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm almost done. I need to get proper stamps, guys. This isn't working out. It's okay. Experimentation. <sighs> okay. I don't think I'm gonna. F I think I'm gonna finish this one in my private time uh, because I want to go to bed. But I'm gonna have to redo these guys. These leaves right here. I'm gonna have to like restamp and re um, redo it because they kind of blew away in the actual storm. But here's the actual the texture that I really want, so you guys can see that right there. You see that? It's really cool. And it's actually bumpy, like it's a texture. Thank you, Camille. Yeah, try making the stamp is really inked up. Yeah, I think these ones, I didn't really ink it up as much as I should have, uh, unfortunately. But yeah, I can redo it. So I'm, I've, I'm a little bit off on it. Yeah, it's all part of the learning experience, I guess. I want to continue this up here, just like a couple leaves in the back. I have to restamp these ones and redo it, um, and then kind of continue here as well. I think that's. I think I messed it up though. Oh, that's okay. Live streams are for experimentation. So I'm just gonna t take this off. Oh, Jesus. Okay. The stamp looks good faded. It's kind of like a grungy, it gives me like a grunge effect, you know, like a vintage effect. Thank you guys. <laughs> I really want to finish it up. Like I want to finish it up. Um, I'm wondering, but I, I'm kind of out of ideals right now because I'm so tired. I have to fix the fur and then I have to fix this kind of thing here, the crest thing around him. Um, and then, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Oh no. I'm just destroying it right now. 
yeah also i wanted to show you guys something check this out so i don't know when i'm gonna publish or show this off um but this is a kind of a painting i've been working on in the back um i'm actually doing a speed painting video of it can you guys guess who this is i posted it on my instagram a couple times but i actually haven't shown the finished product this is not finished yet um there's a lot of details missing but i'm planning on doing this effect on his armor so you can see like the silvery effect i'm gonna do it on his armor i think i think that's the plan and he also has like black i have to finish his armor here so i have a black one like this and i'm gonna add it to his um actual kind of fling um so yeah i think this one's a work in progress but yeah it's my fan art <laughs> i'm a huge game of thrones fan all right Oh, uh, you guys want me to leave it fade? Okay, I can do that. <laughs> John Snow. <laughs> I have to work a lot on his like fur, his fur and the snowy mountains in the background. Like, there's a lot of detail missing, but this is so far. I love John Snow, guys. John Snow is awesome. The king of the north. Oh. I actually wanted to finish him in a live painting, but or a live stream, but I'm recording it for a li for a speed painting. So, ooh, I do have an embossing pen somewhere, somewhere. I don't know where it went. I do have one, but I actually don't really use it because I like the stamps. But I guess I could use the embossing pen on the stamps. I don't know. I still have to figure things out. Okay, guys, I want to finish this. I don't think I'm going to finish it. We're going to end it at like 11 or just now. Um, but I am tired. I'm really tired. And my hair is crazy. And I have to clean my apartment. And I have to wake up early. So many excuses, I know. <laughs> so I'd like to thank you guys for watching this live stream. And as usual, I will be live streaming next Thursday and um, next Sunday as well live streams getting back to my regular schedule of two live streams so stay tuned for that and um i gotta prepare for my vacation now i want to wish you guys all a lovely weekend and a good friday and i hope it's sunny in your part of the world and um thanks so much for watching and of course stay awesome and keep drawing and um have fun doing it don't uh get all anxious about it yeah <laughs> wise words from bunny i guess all right bye guys thanks so much for watching i'm gonna finish this one later